Hello, my name is Tom Morgan from Modality Systems and today I'm going to show you Project Steenbock. Project Steenbock is a pre-meeting check for external customers joining Skype for Business meetings. Now these are users who likely won't have the Skype for Business client, they tend to be outside of your organisation and they may be joining for the first time, they may not have any experience with Skype for Business and they're likely to run into issues with devices or firewalls um, or just ability to use the, the system. And our tests are designed to highlight those problems and resolve them before users come to their first meeting with you. Now I mentioned Project Steambot was a Modality Labs project and you can read more information about it by going to the lab site at labs.modalitysystems.com and from the front page, if you scroll down, you can see the current projects that uh, we are working on in labs and that we are inviting feedback uh, about. And many of these are interactive and you can try them out. And that's the case with Project Steambox. So if I go and look at the information about the project, um, there's some information about the problem, the solution and some features, and then there's a try it today section. And that's a link to check.modalitysystems.net. So I can go here and I can run the pre-meeting test and I'd encourage you to try doing this on your own network, um, try it at home and try it at work and, and see what the experiences are like. So we present two different types of test and um, different organisations have different needs and we can expose both of these tests or just one of them or we can combine them together. Um, for the purposes of the demonstration we're keeping them separate so that um, people can try uh, out the different tests and see how they compare. I'm going to use the basic test first and the basic test covers really just two things. Uh, firstly it tests your connection speed and that's because we know that a poor connection speed can lead to a poor meeting experience. So if users are joining from like a public Wi-Fi from a library or a cafe it might be that that connection speed isn't good enough to hold up a good uh, meeting experience and that in fact the user would be better dialing into the meeting. So we can advise the user of that. Now the other thing we test are firewall ports. So at the moment we only test TCP firewall ports, not, not UDP connections. Um, we're looking to change that in the future, um, but at the moment it's just TCP, but it gives an indication of any potential firewall problems that the user may encounter joining uh, Skype for Business meetings. And that's the that's the, really the kind of um, the fundamentals of the basic test. Uh, it is very fast. Um, it, it's, it's designed as a quick check to make sure there's no major problems before joining a meeting. I'm going to move straight on to the advanced test because that's a little more in depth and provides more information. The advanced test works by creating a new meeting uh, dynamically which the user then joins and tests out just like they were in a normal meeting. They can test out that all their devices work um, and they can perform a number of checks before they actually go and join a real meeting and then the system can provide recommendations based on that experience. So to begin the test, the user just clicks the start test button and that's what creates the meeting so they can then join that using the web join experience. So the user joins just like they would uh, your regular meeting and what will happen as soon as they join they'll be greeted with a bot that's in the meeting that is playing a looping audio welcoming them to the meeting and directing them back at the web page uh, they just left. You have joined the test meeting. Please return to the testing window for further instructions. You have joined the test meeting. So you can hear that looping audio um, telling them they're in the meeting. And if, you, if I go back to the website now, you can see that the website is updated. It knows that the, you've joined the meeting. It also knows that your microphone is muted and that you're not sending any audio or video. So if I come back to this meeting, and indeed my microphone is muted, so if I unmute that, 
please return to the testing and come back here this has now disappeared and it tells me i'm receiving audio okay please have joined the test meeting once I'm happy that the audio is being received okay, um, I can then click this button and that's going to change the message that's being delivered in the meeting and instead it's going to invite the user to record a 10 second clip which will then get played back and that's designed to test the microphone as well as the, the headphones part of um, the user's device setup. Return to the testing. This is the recording test. In a moment, when I stop talking, speak for 10 seconds starting now so at this point the system is capturing a 10 second clip of audio uh, which it is then going to play back into the meeting for the user to verify this is what i heard so at this point the system is capturing a 10 second clip of audio uh, which it is then going to play back into the meeting for the user to verify restarting the test in five seconds so at this point, because I heard the audio OK, I'm going to click Next Step. And that's going to end the meeting. It's going to remove the user from the meeting. And it's then going to generate a call quality score and recommendation. So you can see that the overall call quality here was good. And that the join recommendation is um, that the user joins the meeting uh, using their computer and the Skype for Business join link. Now, if the call quality uh, was poor, the recommendation would be to dial in instead. And there's some additional information here um, around Microsoft best practice on VPN usage. Um, it'll highlight if a VPN is in use. Um, it will it'll pull out the mean opinion score uh, and the connection type and there's some more information um, as well about device usage and some other information. So that is the pre-meeting check for external customers, which is Project Steambox from Modality Labs. Um, I'd encourage you to go to check.modalitysystems.net and try it out for yourself and let us know how you get on.